Lucifer. Hi. That has been an amazing shooting with you today at the magazine house. At the magazine house. It's been great. You had a good time? I had a lovely time. So now I ask, you've never really done a shoot like this before? Nope. Nothing like this. Yeah. Yeah. And have you done a lot of modeling? Uh, no, I'm pretty new. Um, dabbled in it when I was young. Started getting serious um, less than a year ago. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a really great pursuit for you because you, you, <laughs> yeah, you're a uh, stunning, stellar, Thank great you. model. You're posing and your emotions. Like, you're kind of in touch with your emotions, I would say. Kind of, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I mean, things are going pretty good now for you. It's yeah, cool. yeah, they're going really well. So now, what do you, now you're, what do you do for work? Um, I am a barber and a hairstylist as a day job, and then I cosplay on the side. So I host like cosplay events, um, run or help run an organization for it. Whoa! Um, yeah. What's the organization? It's Cause Positive. Cause. Oh, and what kind of things do you do? Um. So we're starting to get more into hosting events, running events, um, but it's really just promoting positivity in the cosplay community. So wow. um, boosting like people that maybe are alt like me or plus size, colored, not your standard cosplayer, really like pushing them, promoting positivity, wow. stuff like that. So now do people get discriminated against because it was their cosplay? Oh, I yeah. didn't realize that. Yeah, it's, oh. um, it's really sad to see, but there is some toxicity in that community. Oh, man. So it's us just kind of pushing against it and being kind to That's one another. Within the community kind of. Yeah. So now in your everyday life, do you kind of cosplay out a little bit or? Yeah, um, I do a convention or an event probably once a month. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, but then also just like little shoots here and there. I love doing that stuff. Oh so. yeah, yeah, and, and your outfits are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, your eyes and your hair. We have that one strand that looks perfect now. Yeah, it was um, it was tricky, but now yeah. it's good. So now with wigs, is that a whole um, involved uh, techniques and for you and? Um, kind of. I because I do hair in my like everyday life, so it's it's easier for me. Um, but when I first started getting into them it was it was hard to figure out because there's so many different types and so many different styles and ways to style them stuff like that so yeah yeah and yeah. Then, now when you go through school do you work on a wig you yeah. work on a mannequin oh mannequin yeah. Like a head. yeah yeah like a little head with human hair yeah I, oh with human hair yeah. oh my god <laughs> i wonder because i got a, a mannequin without a head I went and bought that and I said, I need a head. So I went and bought a head. This is all on my <laughs> Craigslist. So I got this big white mannequin, which I make all my clothes on. And then this little tiny uh, black woman's head with, with half cornrows. Oh my God. <laughs> and they were, it was like seven bucks. Away. I used it for cosmetology. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got, I've probably got some in my trunk still. Oh my God. Like two or three heads just rolling around. Fun. Yeah, you have to cut my hair sometime. Yeah, you got That'd it. That would be great. Yeah. And now, you, know, you said, like, now, were you had some bad situations in the cause community yourself, or? Um, I've had like, a few weird incidents, just with, like, maybe people that aren't the nicest, or uh -huh. um, maybe they're inappropriate towards others. Um, I'm pretty good at handling myself. Um, you set your boundaries. I said, you gotta, yeah, boundaries, make it yeah. clear, like, Hey, don't don't touch me or hey what you just said wasn't nice and I didn't appreciate that um, but because cosplay extends with so many different ages now I'm at the point where like I try to step in and be a voice for people that maybe can't do that for oh, themselves that's wonderful thank uh, you yeah of course oh. I just remember being you know 12 and bullied oh. for being weird so I'm not gonna let like someone else oh. do that to a kid so and so you did that on your own and then with the organization yeah so I, I started doing that kind of by myself um, and then the founder of it reached out to me and asked if I would be his like right hand man and now now we're expanding so we've got a few other members and oh. yeah 
It's great. I love that. Yeah, and it's like you're building a, a healthy, safe community. Yeah, that's for, what I want. I just yeah. want like a safe space for yeah. everyone. Yeah. So. And uh, so now, I mean, this is what you like to do for fun. You, yeah. That, yeah, that's your. That's you my know. my big thing. I. It's so much fun. I love it. It's. I don't know. It's what yeah. I really enjoy doing. And so now, yeah, like you have wonderful ink and stuff. Yeah. Like what is this snake again? It's the space. It's my space snake. Yeah. It's yeah. um my little ball python. Um, but when my artist drew it, he was watching one of my favorite animes. So now it's a space snake. So now, what does anime mean in your life? I mean, you watch every day. Or? <laughs> um, it's got a a very special place in my heart. Um, I've been watching it for ooh, 11 years now, 12, wow. it's been a while. Um, it's, it's such a cool concept, like everything that happens in anime is so, um, I don't know, there's like very, uh, how do I describe it? There's like out of this world stuff, things that could never happen, but they're so cool to think about and like go into this person's ideas. But then there's also things that are like, oh, this could happen to the everyday person. And it's cool to see it from someone else's perspective. Um, Can you like use that to help you get through some things in your own life? Yeah. Yeah. So my two favorite animes, there's Devil Man Crybaby and Tokyo Revengers. Um, Devil Man Crybaby helped me out of a, uh, a friendship that ended. Oh. Um, and it was, it, it, um, explains kind of the human experience as well as like what love is, um, and how it's, it's okay to lose that and to handle oh. things the way that you handle things. And sometimes like you think everything is good and maybe it's not. Um, so that one is very special to me. I, I can't recommend it enough. Wow, um, what's the name of that one? Again? It's Devil Man Cry Baby. Devil Man Cry Baby. Yes. And then um, Tokyo Revengers, the main character um, goes through a lot as well. And you see him, um, or I guess there's two main characters. So one kind of bounces back and forth between the past and the present to fix things in the future. And then I really connected with a character named Mikey and you see him kind of also figure out like his emotions, what he's dealing with, um, how to be a friend to everyone. He's wow. also, yeah, it's it's super cool, super fun, so. And so then, and I, it seems like you really like people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really yeah. love it. So that helps you, yeah, I, I really like trying to be a friend to everybody. I think people are, I mean, not everybody, but yeah, and then so, so you were able to get through this loss of a friendship. I'm kind of going through that right now a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. And it can be very it's hard. disturbing, you know, you, like what kind of emotions were you feeling? Oh, um, cause I'm also kind of going through it right now for, oh, again, no. um, which is fine. It's, it happens, yeah. but I, like a relationship. Or yeah. 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 Oh. And it's, there's, I've kind of come to terms <laughs> with it. No, 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 it's yeah. fine. Uh -huh. Um, but it's like anger, um, being hurt, just feeling. I almost felt used. Oh no. Yeah. Um, and now I'm at a place where I'm very like, I'm okay. I'm okay with what happened. Like I've, I did everything that I could. Yay. It's, it's all, oh, it's all God. them now. Whatever, whatever's being said or happening. That's, oh, that's yeah. them. I'm at peace with I myself. Got, I feel tingly. Yeah. Cause when we were shooting today, you had a peace and a joy that comes through <laughs> in, in your face. like. You know, there's like beautiful looks, you got that, and then posture, you're very, very poised, but then you, you express wonderful emotion. Thank you. And that just makes the pictures incredible. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm so glad we shot today. Oh, and yeah. I, do you have any, how was the shooting experience for you? Oh, it was great. Um, like I said, I've never done anything like this before. I'm pretty new. Oh. Um, but I loved every moment of it. It was super fun, super special. It's going to be something I, I cherish and look back on very fondly. So I'm excited to see everything and continue working. Yeah. Well, I hope to maybe get another week. Now we got a photo published of you. How was that experience for you? It was so exciting. Um, it was great. I never in like a million years would have thought that that 
had happened. Really? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> um, so having it happen was just like one of the coolest things and like I went around and showed it off to everyone. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey guys, um, I'm in a magazine. Here's this cool photo. So I was super proud, super happy. I like could not stop talking about it for a, a while. I'm so glad. Me yeah. too. Oh, I love that shot. Like when I was shooting, there was like five photographers in the room and they were telling me, you can't do this shot. <laughs> like, when I was taking it, I had to use special lights. Cause yeah, because it was all black. black and and when I, I, I could barely see you, yeah. and it just boom. Oh I know, God. I remember just sitting there and I was like, I don't know what's going on, but I hope it works out. Yeah. And it did, it was yeah. great. I and mean, you can see like today, I like like just in this doorway, I love playing with light. Yes, and, it's super and it's just fun. so much fun to do with you. You're just really a wonderful model to work Thank with. Thank you. I, I hope you'll shoot again. Of course, yeah. of oh, course, cool, this cool. is great. Well, thank you very much, thank you. Eliza. You're wonderful, and I did this. I it was a very special shoot for me. Very. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.